<clears throat> All right, 2024 programming overview, week number three. I apologize if you can't read it because uh, it's a little small, but it's not like you could read my handwriting anyway, so it doesn't matter. Starting off, Monday. No, sorry. I know this week's going to be cold. I programmed all these workouts before I knew it was going to be cold. We might have to change things. If we do, we will. All right, but this is what they are. This is what they will stay um, unless we have to change it. Okay, Monday, starting it off, we're going to do more alley lifts. All right, so we have every two minutes for five sets, two hang squat cleans, developing power, dropping into the squat. So tall extension, get small, tall, small. All right, this is gonna be somewhere around 70, 75%. You'll notice often I put ollie lifts around 70 to 75%. You ask why, why don't we go heavier? Because ollie lifts are about producing power. If you go heavier, you cannot produce as much power because your speed slows down. All right, you can't move heavy things as quickly as you can move moderate things. Then we'll go to our Metcon. We have two sets, we're gonna rest, two minutes in between, all right? 50 double unders, 15 double kettlebell, hang cleans, all right? Between the legs, up to the shoulders. All right, I did a variation of this workout. It's all grip, okay? Then you will lunge 50 feet with the kettlebells, you'll do 10 and then 50. Yes, 15, 50, 10. The reason I did this is because I like good math. And you think, well, it's not symmetrical. No, it's not, but 15 and 10, it's 25, 25 is half of 15. If you don't like it, I don't care. Tuesday, and we have four sets. You'll do 25 push-ups, 20 feet elevated ring row, legit ring rows, all right? I want good squeeze of the back, pulling the rings to the hip, okay? 400 meter run, rest 90 seconds. Recognize Tuesday, it's supposed to be like 10 degrees outside. We'll bike or row if we have to, okay? But we don't do CrossFit because it's easy, right? That being said, it is cold. Good push-ups, good ring rows. If we have to, we'll go for the knees. What I don't want is these weird wavy push-ups that some of you guys do, where you kind of like hump the ground. No, thank you. Wednesday, shoulder care, everybody's favorite. Uh, I'm gonna bring in some old things, bring in some new things. Still good for you. Then, our open workout for the week, open 19.4. I did this this week and uh, it was bad. It's burpees, power snatches, burpees, and bar muscle-ups. I recognize most of the gym cannot do bar muscle-ups. That's all right, it's in the open. Therefore, we're gonna practice it still. So if we have time, we'll throw in some bar muscle-up practice. We'll go into it here. If not, we're gonna scale down, of course. Then, Thursday. This is a good active recovery workout. We did a few sets of this last week, really liked it. And you have four sets. You're going to start every five minutes. All right, you'll see a trend. I do that a lot. You're going to ski 15 or 12 calories. Then you'll sled drag 200 feet. All right, probably two plates, one plate. That's typical. Every other set, you're going to go forward drag. All right, so pulling it over the shoulders, holding it out front. So reverse drag, forward drag, you know, on and off. Then 12 hip extension. Those are on the GHD. If you've never done a hip extension, it's actually something that the GHD was designed for. All right, GHD stands for glute ham developer. When you do a GHD sit up, you're not developing your glutes or your hams. That's just something that people started doing. All right, they just started doing sit ups. It's not what it was designed for. It's great that we do sit ups on it, but I want to know how to do this too. It's great for your lower back, great for your glutes, great for your hamstrings. So we're gonna do them, all right? We're gonna practice them beforehand. Then Friday, barbell, reverse lunge. We're going five by three. I believe I put this on an EMOM as well. I think every two minutes, get some good rest in there. You're gonna go three each leg, dropping the leg back. We haven't done these in a while. I know most of you are, um, let's say, you hate lunging. You avoid it whenever we put it in a workout. You'll do step ups or you'll do it without weight. Please, do it with weight. All right, it's not a ton of volume. It won't hurt you the same way, let's say, three sets of 100 feet of lunging will, all right? Knee to the ground as best we can. Then, <clears throat> it's one of my favorite styles of workouts. 15 seconds on, 45 seconds off. Sounds absolutely brutal, 
and it kind of is because you put 15 seconds absolute effort in and you get 45 seconds of rest. Are right, we going to do that for 12 minutes? The movements we're going to do are thrusters and bar facing burpees. I know. I know. I did it this week. It wasn't as bad as I remember. I used to do this a lot. It wasn't that bad. All right. I don't think it'll be as bad as you think because you're not getting that many reps. All right. The volume isn't that much. I got seven or eight reps on each movement, each set. All right. So odd minutes, you're doing thrusters, even minutes, you're doing bar facing burpees. All right. 12 minutes. So you're doing six of each, not that much volume, but I want all the intensity. Okay. Your goal is to keep the same amount of reps the entire time. That's it. That brings us to Saturday. Part of workout, you go, I go. 24 rounds. You're not each doing 24 rounds. You're split in 24 rounds. So one person is 12, the other person is 12. Three wall walks, 15, 12 cal row. All right. These are sprint rounds. All right. Three wall walks, 15 cals, or 12 cals. Then your other partner will go three wall walks, cows. All right. The last two partner workouts I've programmed on Saturdays have been shorter than I wanted them to be. This one, I'm not so sure. It still might be a little short. We'll see. Three wall walks. I think it'll be good. It'll be good. Overall, excited for this week. I know the cold's going to play a pretty big role in it, but uh, it should be all right. We have this week, and then we have the following week. The week after that, we have Alan Haley's member of the month workout. So look out for that. It'll be on Monday. And then we're going to test some of the TFX workouts that a lot of us are going to go compete in. So you guys will get to see where your scores line up with everybody. All right. Other than that, that's about it. I'll give you a hint for next week's open workout. It also has barbell cycling and it has toes to bar in it. That's the only hint I'm giving you. All right. Stay warm and uh, excited for this week. See you guys in the gym.